What's up guys, Ruptad here and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario! In the last episode, we explored the very short green station and managed to bring down a pokey as well as uncover the bridge to where we are now, which is Red Station, the last station in Shy Guy's toy box. And we also got Rusty his dictionary back and gave Tasty a cookbook, so now she can cook two items for us and make even more delicious recipes. So, I stopped right in front of this mysterious room. Let's see what awaits us inside. <laughs> Someone has come. Someone is here in the dark. Whoa, you are... a bit creepy. Wee <laughs> Oh, could it be? Wee <laughs> It's Mario! Yes, I am Mario. What do you want? Looks like you're mine, Mario! Wee <laughs> I won't let you go anywhere. This is a... mini-boss! I believe it's the mid-boss of... The toy box, even though we're almost at the end anyway. Wee! I'll take care of you quickly, then return to my darkness. I hate the light. So, I'll take you with me. To the deep dark. You hate light, let yet you carry a lantern. What sense does that make? Anyway, this is the big lantern ghost. He has 40 HP, 5 attack, no defense. He can jump on us to do 5 damage. He can also send out a light wave from that lantern that does 2 damage to Mario and his partner. And he will also blow out the lantern to engulf the room in darkness again. That's going to be your main issue in this fight, the mechanic to this battle. Um, as you may notice, I am trying to move the cursor over, but... It will not move off the lantern, which is also a target. As long as the room is completely shrouded in darkness, the big lantern ghost cannot be targeted. What you need to do is hit the lantern enough to make the ghost visible. So you can target it from at for attacks. Yeah. This is why I have Bo out. Bo is very useful for this. Because her smack does multi is actually multiple attacks in one. So you hit enough and the room is lit up so we can see the big lantern ghost. And you're also going to want to jump on him because the hammer will only target the lantern because it is in front of him. So, I guess that's why they have the little bandage on his forehead. Power jump him and boom. Whoa! I hate light! I'll make it darker. And even darker than that. That's what he's going to do most of the time. He's just going to waste his turn blowing the lantern out so he can make the room dark again. So most times, you're really only going to get to attack with Mario, but that's fine. Mario's got more than enough power in his arsenal to be able to kick the crap out of this giant ghost. Oh, crap, I was not prepared for that. Timing on it is a bit awkward to block, though. But look at Bo, her eyes. Oh, Bo. In any case, for hurting Bo, I'm going to power jump you in the face. And it's gonna blow Lantern out again, and I don't have Bow. Wonderful. Fair enough then, let's just jump on the Lantern. Do not try and sit on me, you stupid... <sighs> whatever. With Bow back up, let's smack the Lantern, light up the room. I do have to admit, this is a pretty neat mechanic. It adds strategy to this boss fight. Because this is something you're not going to witness too often. Well, as far as anything deviating from the normal battle pattern of just you do something, he does something, yada yada yada. So he is exposed again. Let's power jump him once more and. Awesome! Alright, spell, let's do work. Oh, and now the spell's power runs out? Well, it took it I it took it long enough, but with how often it was activating, I figured it would have run out a lot sooner, but eh, I'm not complaining. I will probably go renew it after 
uh, before I actually go and fight uh, the boss of this chapter. Just because. Fair enough, I'll just hammer the lantern. This ghost is practically dead anyway. Uh, one interesting thing I guess I can note is, whenever I saw how this guy's name was spelled, I always thought that the makers of this game spelled it wrong, because I was so used to the spelling of lantern as in uh, the Pokemon. L-A-N-T-U-R-N. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but... I always thought they spelled it wrong, because I was so used to the spelling of lantern as in the Pokemon. Anyway, we beat him, we get 16 star points. No! So, he flees and leaves his lantern behind. Wait. We can talk with the lantern? Hi, mister. I'm Watt. Can I, um, get out of here? He's got someone inside this thing? Well, hell, let's get him out. Well, look at that! It's a Sparky! <laughs> Yay! I got out! Yay for me! Thanks, mister! Now the problem. Hey, aren't you, um, Mario? You just saved me like a hero! You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest! You saved me from the mean guy who laughed like, Wee hee hee! So I did. I gotta make it up to you. I'll go with you, Mario, okay? I heard the, um, Shy Guy saying that you're trying to save Princess Peach from Bowser. You're super great. You're the greatest great guy. I think you're the best. So, um, I really want to help. I'll be good, really. So, she is a bit young, but Watt joined our party. Watt is probably the best party member in the entire game. And while she may not be as useful outside of battle, in battle... She kind of gives you reasons why, for most of the game, for, well, most of the rest of the game, you really aren't going to want to switch partners. So, outside of battle, if you pre press the C-down button, we can hold her around like a lantern to illuminate areas around you. This lights up dark areas, as well as makes invisible blocks visible, so you don't have to play guessing games with them. Even though most of the time it's pretty obvious where they are. While in battle, she can shock enemies with Electro Dash, or paralyze them with Power Shock. Now the thing about her Electro Dash, is it ignores defenses. Which makes her very useful against enemies with high defense. Hence the reason why I said you're rarely going to want to switch away from her when we are in battle. Yeah, she can show us how helpful she can be, even though she likes the dark. So here we go. Yeah, you got a point there, Watt. So now we can go. Um, there's nothing else in this room, so... It's just there for the battle purpose, but... It is kinda neat, though. And hey! Speaking of hidden blocks, we have a snowman doll right here. So, you remember that super block I passed up in the last episode? Yep. Let's get Paracarry out now. This is why I wanted to save it. I wanted to upgrade Watt. Sorry, Goombario, you're gonna have to wait a little longer, but... To be fair, upgrading Watt is something I highly recommend because she will get access to Turbo Charge, which will increase Mario's attack power. Very useful. So Watt is now super ranked. Aw. Could have made that. Oh well. Gonna ride this around. I'm sure there's probably something hidden down there, but I don't really feel like dealing with a pyro guy right now. Oh, there's something here. A vault shroom. Nice. So now that I'm looking at it, I think this is actually gonna end up being the Yeah, this is probably gonna end up being the last part to Shy Guy's toy box. It came and went that fast. So we head through here, we already saw the Shy Guy. Oh, he's gonna retreat back behind there again. He's got some impressive jumping skills, so I give him that. So let's use Bombette to completely destroy this block structure. I don't think the crack is really necessary. And they all run away. I will say this, though. That high-pitched screeching that is them screaming in fear, it's really annoying. 
And I mean really annoying. Um, anything up here? Ah, yes there is! There's a hidden block. Like I'm gonna let go of Watt for a sec. Then get back over to this block. And I believe I can use Cooper to get that shooting star there. Yes, I can. Excellent. So let's pick it up. And move on. Oh, more enemies. A sleepy sheep. Uh, nah, I don't want it. So get in here. We can light it up with Watt and... God, will you shut up? And they completely blow up in the wall. So! Actually, you know what? This just gives me an excuse to stop it right here. Just so I can put the boss in its own part, and I guess build up some suspension. Again, give more longevity to the toy box. So, thank you guys for watching. I have been rubbed at. And don't worry, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we are going to tackle the boss. And be done with Shy Guy's Toy Box. I will see you guys then.